Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering LAM number two in the Access Control Vulnerabilities module titled Unprotected Admin Functionality with Unpredictable URL. All right, let's get started. This lab has an unprotected admin panel. It's located at an unpredictable location, but the location is disclosed somewhere in the application. Solve the lab by accessing the admin panel and using it to delete the user Carlos. Okay, so our target goal over here is to find the admin panel, which is in an unpredictable location, so we can't brute force it. However, it is disclosed somewhere in the application, so we're going to have to find out where that location is. And then once we have access to the admin panel, we're going to try and delete the user Carlos. Okay, let's get started. While that loads up, we're going to open up Burp. So I'm using the integrated browser or the inbuilt browser in Burp, and that's why I don't need to set my Foxy proxy extension. My requests are already all going through uh, my Burp proxy. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is check if there's a robots file. So that's essentially just a text file with instructions for search engine crawlers. Sometimes it does disclose certain locations that are not available directly in the application. There isn't one, so that was a dead end. The next thing that I'm going to do is just load the home page and then view the source code to see if there's any leftover comments um, or a JavaScript that was left by developers that could potentially tell us where the admin panel is. And you could see over here we've got JavaScript and it defines certain logic for um, admin functionality. And you could see over here if the user is an admin. So if that's set to true, then it goes into this logic right over here, which says the admin directory is this one right over here. So let's copy that. And let's see if that gives us access to the admin panel, because sometimes there's leftover code that doesn't really work in production. And so we can't be sure until we test it. And here we go. So we have access to the admin panel without having to log in. So there is an authentication and an access control vulnerability right over here that allows us to just directly access the admin panel if we knew the uh, URL of the admin panel. So the next thing is to delete the Carlos user. And here we go. It says, congratulations, you solved the lab. So we successfully completed the exercise by manually exploiting the access control and authentication vulnerability that allowed us to access the admin panel by simply knowing the endpoint that accesses the um, admin panel. All right, the next step is to script the exercise. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.